Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, Carlita. Ana Mendoza. Mr. Martinez. Welcome class number two three or two not three number three wow <laughs> english class number three yes good afternoon, good afternoon teacher good afternoon good afternoon okay so can someone tell me what day is today what day is today Wednesday. Wednesday. Exactly. Nice. Yes. Wednesday. Wednesday. January. 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 By the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. So today you will specifically learn about three irregular verbs, okay? So um, we have the following activities. Oops, I forgot here to write practice time. Okay, we have a message. <laughs> Bye, Don. Good afternoon. Okay, so, um, oops, I think I wrong bottom. So, <clears throat> as I was telling you, today we have one rec recording previous knowledge to uh, refresh your memory about the previous class. In the activity two, we have head drawing. Vamos a hacer esta dinámica, esa dynamic activity. Activity three, practice time. Activity four, wrap up, okay? So those are the activities for today. Activity number one, recalling previous knowledge. In this activity, you will see it in a moment. You have to find and correct the mistakes. There are some mistakes in this um, in these sentences. We have a sentences, and you have to identify the mistakes. Okay. Uh, for example, we have number one. He go to bed early. But it's incorrect, right? It's he. The correct form is goes. goes to bed very early. Exactly. So we have uh, exercise two. Does they live in Canada? Is that correct? No. What is the correct form? Do they live in Canada? Exactly. Do they live in Canada? Do, because this, that is the auxiliary that we use with they. Okay, so we have the following sentences and you have to find and identify uh, the, the error and correct it. I will give you some time and you can write the correct sentence in the chat. Okay? It will be talking about it. So number two, do they live in Canada? Number three, I am usually cook dinner for my family. What is the, the mistake? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es el error? What's the mistake? Um, the 
first um, is the verb. I am. Exactly. This is the mistake. It should say only I usually cook dinner for my family. That's it. I usually cook dinner for my family. We don't use the verb be in this case, right? Because the verb here is cook. Yo usualmente cocino la o hago la cena para mi familia. Okay. Number four. Are they have a meeting every week? What's the mistake? Is they are have a meeting every every week. Remember that we are not right now learning about the verb be. No es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Sino otros verbos, regular verbs, in which we use the auxiliary do and does. Auxiliaries do and does. So here it's incorrect are. Uh -huh. The correct form is do. do. Right? Do they have a meeting every week? That is the correct form. Do they have a meeting every week? Okay, number five. She don't like tennis. Don't. She doesn't. The correct form is doesn't. She doesn't, right? She doesn't like tennis. She doesn't like tennis. Okay, number six. Does John has enough money? The bear has. Ah, exactly, because as we learned yesterday, when we have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't change. The verb is in the base for half. He knows the answer. He knows the answer. What's the correct form? Knows. Exactly. He knows. We have the S. He knows the answer because it's he, third person. Robert plays baseball on the weekend. What's the mistake? The E. Exactly. It should say only Robert plays. Robert plays baseball on the weekend. Okay? Those are the correct forms. Good. Any questions on these? Not No questions. Very good. So now for the next activity, you need to have your notebook or a page and a pencil. Do you have a notebook and a pencil? I don't, so just give me one moment. <laughs> Okay, now I have it. It was, it was in, on the table. Okay, so for this activity, oops, sorry. Um, you will demonstrate your abilities for drawing. Do you like drawing? ¿Te gusta dibujar? No, teacher. Why not? So, very good, Carlita sends all the sentences. He goes to bed very early. Do they live in Canada? I usually cook dinner for my family. Do they have a meeting every week? She doesn't like tennis. Does John have enough money? He knows the answer. And Robert plays baseball on the weekend. Excellent, Carlita. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, next activity. Ay, perdón. I have forgotten this. Okay, so in this worksheet, you ha we have to change the verb and make it third person singular. Entonces, se los voy a enviar al chat para que ustedes allí lo puedan. Pero también, but also, we're going to do it together. Lo vamos a hacer también juntos. Ahora se las mando al chat. This exercise, okay? You can do it at the same time we are doing it. There are some rules that we apply when we change the verb, right? So, um, and you will learn those rules in this moment. Okay, simple third, present simple, third person singular. For most verbs, we just add the S. Example, I talk, he talks. I drive, she drives. For verbs ending in double S, X, SH, CH, and O, we add ES to the verb. Example, I fix, she fixes. I do, it does. So verse ending in double S, for example, kiss, kisses, she kisses her mom, right? Or watch, my father watches TV, okay? Or SH, uh, for example, uh, your sister brushes her teeth. Uh, very often, mm -hmm. brushes mm -hmm. and others. Okay, for verbs ending in a consonant plus the Y, we change the Y for I, E, S. Example, I tidy, he tidies. But I play, he plays. It's different, right? Why? What is the difference? Tidy has the consonant D and the Y. So I change the Y and write IES. He tidies. But it's different in the verb play because we don't have a consonant before the Y. We have a vowel. Tenemos una vocal, no una consonante. We have a vowel before. So it's, we just add the S, right? He plays, okay? Another example uh, for a verb that ends in consonant plus Y is fly. Fly, right? Superman flies. Uh, Carlita studies in the university. Study, studies. Another ex example can be fry. My mom fries the potatoes, right? Mi mamá fríe las papas. My mom fries the potatoes. The girl cries. Llora, cries. The girl cries. Cry, cries. Good. So we have this exercise and we're gonna do it together. For example, we have, I walk, he walks. I go, he. Goes. Goes, exactly. I dance, she? Dance. Dances. I dance. speak, he? <coughs> speaks. He speaks. 
Ahí está, Dishi. Está. 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 I es. I enjoy. He enjoys. Enjoys. I fix. He fixes. Fixes. Ajá. Uh -huh. I jump. It. It jumps. jumps. I wash. He. Watches. 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 Yes. I find she fine. She finds. She finds. She finds. She finds. I marry. He marries. 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 Uh huh. I keep. She keep. keeps. She keeps. Keeps. Right. Keeps. I love it. Loves. Loves. I bother. He bothers. He bothers me a lot. Brothers. He bothers. Bothers. What is the meaning? Bother. Bother. Molestar. Mm. Okay. I sing. She sings. I lie. He lies. And I catch. He catches, exactly. He catches. Oops. Yes, he catches. Good. So um, you can continue this. Well, we have more options, more sentences here, and you have to choose the correct option. So please tell me what it is, the correct option. Samantha like or Samantha likes playing tennis? Samantha likes, likes playing like. tennis. Yes. We make or we make <clears throat> delicious cakes? We make. We make. We make. Uncle Tom feeds or feeds the dogs every day? Yes. Feeds. Every day. Do they live in London or does they live in London? Do they? Do they? Do. Do. My brother eat or eats a lot of hamburgers? Eats a lot of hamburgers. My brother eats. You always come or comes to class early? Come. Come. They all work or they all work for the post office? Work. 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 The giant panda live or lives in China? Lives. Lives. Foxes live or lives in the forest? Lives. Mm -hmm. Foxes. Foxes is live. plural. Live. Live. live in the forest. The earth Move or moves around the sun? Moves. Moves because the earth is third person, right? So the earth moves around the sun. You don't or you doesn't often go to the gym? You don't. You don't, exactly. Michael doesn't drive or Michael doesn't drive to work? Michael doesn't drive. drive. Michael doesn't drive, exactly. Do he know how to swim or does he know how to swim? Does he know? Does he know how to swim? Lisa and Nancy often jog or often jogs in the park? Uh, often jog. Often jog. Often jog. These children ride or ride their bikes to school every day? Ride. 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 My sister never tidies or tidies her bedroom. Tidies. Mm -hmm. Tidies. Does your brother run or runs fast? Runs. Does your brother run? Run. run. In questions, the verb does not change. The verb does not yeah. uh, change at all. You don't put the S. Yes. Why? Because we are using the auxiliary. You and your mom don't or doesn't cook? Done. 
done. Congratulations. So now let's check if we did it correctly. Finished. And let's see. Oh, no, let me finish. <laughs> okay, finished. Check answers. And now we got 10. Congratulations, people. Excellent. Okay, so now, yes, now it's time for the other activity, which is, um, you know, you need a, a blank page or a notebook. You're going to put it on your head. Okay, you put your notebook on your head. And I will tell you the things that you have to draw, las cosas que tienen que dibujar, without seeing, sin ver, without seeing. Okay, so first you need to draw, draw, dibujar, draw a big circle. So you have to draw a circle, okay? But don't see, don't see, no tienen que ver, don't see. You draw a big circle. Now you have to draw inside the circle a nose. Draw a nose. Una nariz. Tienen que dibujar a nose. You draw a nose. Now you have to draw eyes. Okay, eyes. Ojos, eyes. And now you have to draw hair. You choose the hair, curly, straight, short, or long. Okay, now the ears. You draw the ears, las orejas. And that's it. Okay, and now at the count of three, everybody's gonna show it. One. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Ay, creo que no se puede porque tengo el, el background. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness, Ana. One, okay, that, oh, Evelyn. De Tatiana casi no se ve. <laughs> okay, Carlita. Well, we don't discover... I wanted to discover a Picasso, right? Quería descubrir un Picasso o una Picasa. But I, I don't see someone, right? Okay, good. What are you going to do now? Well, that's your friend. You pretend that the person you draw, you drew, la persona que usted dibujó es su amigo. That's your best friend, okay? And you have to tell your classmate, best friend, it could be he or she. You need to complete this information. For example, hey, this is my friend. Ay, lástima que no lo pueden ver bien porque es blanco. This is my friend, Filiberto. He's 25 years old. He lives in Brazil. He works in a circus. He dances very well. And he doesn't speak Chinese. So you need to invent, right? Think about, use your imagination and give a name to your class, to your friend, Anastasio, eh, Casimiro, I don't know. You, you choose the name. You give him or her an age, a country, a workplace, an ability, and something mm -hmm. that this person doesn't do. So let's work, please. And uh, let's voy a poner in, in break of rooms because we are going to share in the rooms, okay? In the groups. Pero antes le voy a dejar que, que anoten rapidito. You, you take notes, please. You take notes so later you can go to the break of rooms. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, ready? send it to the WhatsApp group and to the, uh -huh, so that you can receive it and you can have it. Remember to show your picture, show your friend and talk about your imaginary friend, okay? <clears throat> yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Tatiana, Carlita y Byron tendrán problemas para ingresar. Yo no pude ingresar. Uh -huh. Bye. Only Carlita is there. Ya, ¿Ya lo hizo usted? Yo creo que ya no alcanza el tiempo. No, no, ya no. Yo creo que ya nos está mandando para el otro. Gracias. ¿Verdad que ya no? No, ya no. Sí. Gracias. Hello. No, solo dice que ha empezado la grabación. Recording. Ah. In progress. Recording in progress. Ah, ok. <risa> ah, ok. <risa> Vale, entonces empecemos ahora con el, con el que hemos hecho, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Eh, voy a empezar. This my friend Federico. He is 20 years old. She lives in Chinese. He works in in um, so. Eh, he 
he dines very well. He doesn't speak. Uh, English. English. Okay. English. <laughs> Bueno, ahora me toca a mí. Sí. This is my friend Abel. He is 30 years old. He lives in, in Brazil. He works in a circus. He dances very well. He doesn't speak English. Excelente. No, teacher. ¿Ya terminaron? No, teacher. Oh. They don't finish the description yet. Oh, they don't finish the description. Okay. Our laboratory. Y la otra, he running very well. He doesn't Spanish, speak Spanish. Doesn't, no puede hablar español. Ajá, correcto. Mm -hmm. ah, es, es extranjero. <laughs> Así es. He doesn't speak yes. español. Spanish. Ajá, español. Okay. Spanish. Mm -hmm. Solo eso sería. Ok. Tomará. Tomará. Paz. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el mal dato que le... Bueno, nos vemos en la otra sala, entonces. Okay, so now I need just a couple of volunteers to share with the class the drawings, the your pictures, the Picasso picture. Okay, so who wants to start? Me. Okay, me okay Anita, thank you. Uh, she is funny. <laughs> okay. Funny. She is 20 years old. Uh, she lives in Japan. She could, she works in a hotel. Uh, she could be delicious. And she speaks Japan and Spanish very well. Wow. <gasps> well, we, we don't. We can't sing so much your picture, but <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay. Very good, Anita. Okay, one more person. Only one more. Me. Okay, go ahead. Well, 
creo que sí, sí. ¡Wow! Yo creo que usted lo arregló. Oh. Esa think... es trampa. Sí, esa es trampa. Tiene que no, no tenía que ser. Tiene que ser en la cabeza. Exactidad, Juan. Ah, pensé que íbamos a crear otro, lo siento. Vaya. Eh, this is my friend, Emily Pérez. She is, yes, she is 21 years old. She lives in El Salvador. Eh, she, she doesn't work. Yeah, she doesn't work. Ella no trabaja. Yes. Yes, she doesn't work. Yes. She doesn't work. Uh, she loves dance and she dances very well. And she doesn't eat pizza because it's allergic. And that's it. Okay, Carlita. Thank you. Thank you for you and your friend Emily Perez. <laughs> okay, thank you everyone for your participations. Now we are going to go to the, the core of the class, the núcleo de la clase, which is the present tense of irregular verbs. Vaya, la mayoría de los verbos regulares, pues ya vimos que le agregamos la S with an S, but there are some irregular forms. Hay unas formas irregulares. For example, have, the verb have. ¿Lo pueden ver acá? I have a hat. Pero en tercera persona, she, ya no voy a decir yo have, cambio, cambio, y escribo has. She has a hat. She has a hat. I have a cat. Ok, en the rhymes. <ríe> I have a cat. Perdón, I have a hat and she has a hat. Dios mío, estoy viendo, ya no veo bien. I have a hat, she has a hat. Entonces, <coughs> he, she, and it, voy a utilizar has. ¿Verdad? The, the same with do. With do, la irregular form is does. In the interperson singular. I do exercises, he does exercises. Es lo que yo les decía, que todos los que terminan en O, le vamos a agregar ES. She does her homework. He does his exercises. ¿Ok? The other word is go. We go to the gym. And we apply the same rule as the previous one. He goes to the gym. He goes to the gym. Entonces, las terceras personas van a ser diferentes. En estos casos, have no va a ser haves, ¿verdad? Sino has. Uh -huh. Tampoco es dies, ¿verdad? Es do, das, das. And goes, goes. Uh -huh. He, she, and it. And in the negative form, it's just the same. The only difference is that you need to add not. For example, I don't have a hat. Voy a escribir esto porque es importante. El negativo es el mismo, el mismo formato, solo que I don't have a hat. El mismo formato. I don't do. I don't do so much exercise. Next one, we go to the gym. My brother goes to the, to the gym every week. Ok, but in the negative form sería my brother doesn't.
Kaya yung ito kayo type po. Gym. Mm -hmm. So negative form is just don't and the verb in the base verb. I don't have. I don't do. My brother doesn't go. Una pregunta, ¿por qué se usa el do? I don't. Ah, porque es primera persona. I don't do so much exercise. Pero si es tercera persona, entonces sería, por ejemplo, he doesn't, he doesn't do so much exercise. Porque el, el verbo do aquí es el verbo principal. No es el auxiliar, porque acordémonos que usamos don't and doesn't como verbos auxiliares. Uh -huh. En inglés los necesitamos para indicar presente o futuro. O pasado. Entonces necesitamos los verbos auxiliares para, que, para saber si es pasado, presente o futuro. Vale, entonces ahorita estamos, no sé si eso responde a su pregunta. Por ejemplo, I do exercises, hago sí, ejercicio. Pero, pero, sí, solo que, que me, me cuesta, me cuesta, me cuesta eso de diferenciar, o sea, cuándo usarlo y cuándo. Vaya, ya lo vamos a ver. Ya vamos a practicar. Vaya, vamos a ver estos ejemplos. Miren estos ejemplos. <coughs> Tenemos aquí. Entonces, con I te decimos I have a car, you have a robot, we have a book, they have a um, pencil. But with he, she, and it, or a name of a person, we use has. He has a car, she has a sharpener, it has a jojo, Maria has a a book, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí tenemos otros ejemplos. I have a robot, he has a dinosaur, you have a jojo, and Sarah has a teddy bear. ¿Cuál sería entonces la forma correcta aquí, Mr. Martínez? You have or you has a car? You have. Exactly. You have, you have. Oops. Miren, es que esto me quedó mal, pero. <laughs> Ajá, you have a car. She has a doll. I have a dinosaur. He has a red yo-yo. Ricardo has a bike. ¿Por qué Ricardo has? Porque Ricardo es the same as he, ¿verdad? Él. Vamos a hacer algunos ejercicios entonces. Practice time. Have, go, and do. Vamos a escribir oraciones. Oraciones usando estos. Estos verbos los vamos a hacer affirmative and negative. And we have some minutes to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's start with have, okay? Have. For example, I have, a, I have an old computer. Tengo una computadora vieja. I have an old computer. Juan has a nice cell phone. A ver, ¿quién me regala un ejemplo? ¿Otro ejemplo? ¿Ejemplos? Todos, por favor, mándenme en el chat ejemplos using have. Examples. Send your examples, please, using have or has. Ha. 
have or has, he don't have or doesn't have in the negative form. We got two messages. You have new toys, Anna has a pencil. Anna has a new pencil, okay. I have a candy factory that's nice. She has a red dress. Very good. You have new toys, okay? Toys. My cat has a mouse. Mi gato tiene un rato. A mouse toy, maybe. It has an electric energy. It has electric energy. X. Dangerous. I have a dog. Francisco and Anna have a new dog. We have two cats. Francisco y Ana have a new dog. Entonces, cuando es tercera persona singular, he, she, or it, es que cambia, ¿verdad? Con has and doesn't have. Ahora bien, vamos a hacer un ejemplo con do. Okay. Tell me your examples with do, please. For example, don't, I don't do Try. my hair. Okay, very I often. Do my hair is como, como hacerme el cabello, ¿verdad? Sea un peinado. Un, un... Disculpe la pregunta. Bueno, pero qué, qué, sí. qué, pero qué significado puede tener do? O qué, o sea, para saber cómo usarlo, qué situación usarlo. Vaya, ¿qué significa do? Do significa ¿Oh? hacer. Pero como recuerda, aquí se están quedando con poco personas. Son a tres. Uh, lo podría buscar en él. Perdón que lo silencié, pero vi interrupción. Ok, so, um, for example, do my homework. Voy a poner aquí algunas expresiones. Como do homework, do the laundry que es hacer la lavandería o lavar la ropa. Pero hacer la cama es make my bed. Ahí sí es diferente, es no es no do, es make. Entonces tenemos do homework, eh, do the laundry, Do the ironing, que es planchar, ¿verdad? Hacerla. Um, what else? Do my hair. Entonces, se puede referir a una actividad que se haga en específico. Y es el verbo do. Utiliza. The verb do. Uh -huh. 
Vale, es que el verbo do, Mr. Martínez, usted lo puede, se usa como un auxiliar, pero también es un verbo en acción. Entonces, aquí don't está como un auxiliar, pero aquí está el verbo, el verbo principal. I don't do my hair very often. Yo no me hago el cabello muy a menudo, ¿verdad? Y Carlita, do my lunch sería make my lunch. Eh, do es solo para actividades. Entonces vamos a hacer aquí con el verbo do. En tercera persona usamos das. Por ejemplo, my sister does her homework. En negativo sería my sister doesn't. ¿Doesn't qué? My sister doesn't. Do. Do her own work. Bueno, hagamos algo. Voy a poner una oración y ustedes la hacen negativa. Vamos a ver. Marcela does the laundry every Sunday. Vale. ¿Cómo sería negativo? Marcela. Marcela doesn't. Doesn't. Do, do the laundry, the laundry every Sunday, exactly. Y una más. También puede ser do exercise, do exercise. Entonces vamos a poner he, he does exercise in the afternoon. ¿Y negativo cómo sería? Negative form. Excellent. He doesn't do exercise. He doesn't do exercise in the afternoon. Ok, ahí está. He doesn't do exercise in the afternoon. No sé si ahí nos entendimos. Y unos últimos con go. En tercera persona es el asunto, ¿verdad? Go. En tercera persona sería goes. Y en negative, doesn't go. Entonces vamos a hacer aquí algunos ejercicios. Yo lo hago en, en affirmative. You make it negative. I go to the beach. Once a year. What is the negative form? I don't go to the beach once a year. Excellent. I don't go to the beach. I don't go to the beach. <laughs> I don't go to the beach once a year. Okay. Another one. He goes to the park every Friday after work. Okay. He goes to the park every Friday after work. In negative form? He doesn't go. That he doesn't go to the park every Friday after work. 
One more exercise. Vamos a, uh, one more example. Let's say Michael. Michael doesn't go to school every week. Or doesn't go to school every day. Michael doesn't go to school every day. What is in the affirmative form? Okay, hello. Okay, nice. Michael goes Michael does every day. Go. Excellent. Ahí está. Entonces, review. Este verbo, para hacerlo a tercera persona, no le vamos Echa, a poner Echa. la S, sino que es has. Cambia, ¿verdad? Has. De have cambia a has. Go, para hacerlo a tercera persona, le agregamos y es. And the same happens with does. Para ser la tercera persona. Does. Right, es. Right, does. Third person affirmative. Third person affirmative. Good. And now, wrap up. It's, we have only two minutes for the wrap up. In the wrap up, you have to tell me what is the mistake. They have lots teacher. of free time. Diga. Disculpe, teacher. Este, yo estaba copiando las oraciones que estaba haciendo usted. La última me faltó. Ah, Todo okay. cree que me Perdón. pone la lana, por favor. Sí. Y esa no es pues. Se las puedo Michael enviar dos. también. Y... Michael Dawson. Les puedo enviar la presentación. Pero hay algo que no, todavía no comprendo. Por ejemplo, vaya, me está diciendo Dawson, go to school every day. Y en, en negativo, ¿verdad? Y en afirmativo, Michael goes, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Go o goes? Michael goes. Michael goes. O sea, ya no ocupo el, el, el do ahí en afirmativo. No, no, vaya, los auxiliares, los verbos auxiliares, do, don, do, don't, das, en dasen, solo lo vamos a ocupar en questions, preguntas, en negativos. Solo en para preguntar y para lo negativo, en forma negativa. Ahora, en afirmativo, no. En afirmativo, no. En afirmativo, lo que vamos a hacer es usar el verbo, ¿verdad? Según el sujeto. Por ejemplo, aquí, he, el verbo es go, ¿verdad? Pero como es he, entonces le agrego yes. He goes to the park every Friday after work. Pero en negativo no decimos he not go. ¿Verdad? En inglés no decimos he not go. Como en español, ¿verdad? En español decimos él no va al parque. Pero en inglés necesitamos un auxiliar. Y es, en este caso sería doesn't. Does not. He doesn't go to the park every Friday after work. Él no va al parque cada viernes después del trabajo. He doesn't go to the park every Friday after work. No sé si eso responde a su pregunta, Mr. Martínez. Y yo sé que una hora es poco tiempo. Sí, gracias. Pero, ok, podemos seguir practicando mañana, ¿verdad? We can continue practicing tomorrow. Igual, we have some... Um, mistake sentences here. For example, they has lots of free time. What's the mistake? Has. Has, exactly. What is the correct form? Have. 
they have. They have. Do they usually drive into work? What is the mistake? Driving, right? Do they usually drive to work? That is the correct form. Drive to work. Jenny is not work at a restaurant. Is is incorrect. Is doesn't. Uh huh. Jenny does not work at the restaurant. No trabaja en el restaurante. Does not work. She worries too much about the exam. Worries. Worries, exactly, worries. Worries, because it, it ends in consonant plus Y. So I changed the Y for I, E, S. Okay, uh, don't forget guys to do the knowledge check and the homework that is in the platform. Okay, in the platform. And um, well, this has been all for today and I hope to see you tomorrow. Please study, review your class and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good day. Bye, teacher. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks. You're welcome.